Okay, hello, my name is Carmen Beatty, and I do special effects makeup, and essentially what special effects makeup is, is it's um, using makeup and different makeup products to make it look like I have certain injuries on myself. So today I'm going to do a bruise makeup for you guys. So the first thing I did was I tore little holes in my sponge to mimic capillaries, like veins and stuff. What inspired me to start doing special effects makeup was actually my freshman year Halloween. Like it wasn't really like a cool process, I just wanted to have like a cool looking costume. So I don't know if anybody knew me during freshman year, but my costume was zombie Peter Pan. Uh, and it was pretty cool. I, but back then I was like such a beginner, I was using glue sticks for like fake skin, I was using like Sharpie for blood, it was just a really like, like experimental process. And I tried it out and I was like this looks actually kind of cool and it was like a fun process. So I decided that I might as well like start like using my money to buy other makeup and like get better at it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol um, and I'm going to spritz the sponge with it. Uh, so yeah, and then I'm going to take my bruise wheel here and um, I'm just going to be doing this on my arm. And I'm going to take my bruise wheel and I'm going to dip the sponge in this like red-ish, purple-ish color. The length um, of time that it takes me to do this stuff really depends on the thing. If it's like a simple bruise, it could take me like five-ish minutes. But if it's like a cut, then the cut usually takes about like 20 if I want to take a while. And when it comes to like stage makeup or age makeup, that usually takes like 10-ish. But if I'm doing like someone's like full face, like an infection, that'll usually take like, like 45 minutes-ish. I'm going to start applying the pigment on my arm like so. See how it's got like a weird like textured kind of veiny kind of thing? So the movie that inspired me to start doing special effects makeup, believe it or not, is The Hunger Games because um, The Hunger Games not only does it have like awesome gore makeup with like the like gash on Peta's leg and like the burns and stuff on Katniss, but like there's also such intricate um, designs for especially the members of the Capitol. Like when you come to think about the amount of effort that's put into each of those like extras that's on cast. Then I'm going to take some of this like blue purplish color here and I'm going to start adding that around the edges. There's one effect that I did where um, I, it, I made it look like there were gashes on my face and it kind of, my idea was like I'm a green monster that's like trying to come out. It's, it's complicated, um, but it's like I painted my face green and I put like cuts on it. It was pretty, it was a really fun time. As you can see, I'm concentrating it mostly in like a, like a U kind of thing here, like a horseshoe. Coming to you from WMHS Broadcast, this is Amari, Sophie, and Beck signing off. So, I think this is like pretty much done.